Good morning, good morning. So yesterday I showed on my Instagram how much I love my Cattleman's Coffee and Cowboy Blend is my absolute favorite. So today we're gonna wrangle the day, start it out right. And my, I like drinking cold coffee when it's any time above 30 degrees. So no problem letting it sit. So start my morning by the coffee pot. I brew the coffee while I uh, sip some water and some BCAAs and then um, I let the coffee sit for a little while and then I dump it with some vanilla protein powder and it's just like perfect. But you guys can opt out for the cold brew kind. Um, this is just what I have on hand. Um, and if you guys want to try the Cattleman's Coffee, check out the link in the description below. And uh, you guys can save a little bit when you use my code. I'm uh, going to go start wrangling the kids up. And uh, we kind of got a busy day. We left all that straw sitting in the field last night. So we get ready to go load all that up. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, we'll get today rolling. Are you struggling, Mama? Get those rolls in. All them back scratches. It smells so good, guys. Huge thanks to Carol. She went and got me a batch for the pony. This will last me a while. Batsy's up. I'm not real sure if we'll bail today. Uh, it's very cloudy. Oh, you can't see the clouds. Very cloudy, so not a very good drying day, which is okay. Got other stuff we've got to do. Just because you don't have the twine box over here. Close, but I bet I've got 250,000, 300,000 to my team. Really? Yeah. Good, nice. That's a good bet. Yep. You said 250,000? Yeah, probably so. So, what, do you, what would you say are the best qualities of the carrying system? Um, I mean, I really don't have anything that's. I think it's all good. So, really, I mean, it. it well, I mean, our day, I mean, if we don't get 1,200 bail, then it's not yeah. usually a day we bring the baler we, we out. We like to get that 2,000 if we can. But. Jeez, and just one, one baler and one accumulator. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Wow. That's it right there. Yep. So we, right there. The other day, we did have the dollar. Okay. So it was actually more forward a little bit, but I made my, I didn't miter it right. Mm -hmm. But this piece here, there's a bushing in there, and it actually broke out the back of this tube. Really? Yeah, yeah it was a bit so. stressful. <laughs> Um, you have a bird box in there. Yep. I mean, yep. That, that's gone. Um, just yep. overall, and your gate uh, opens up from the top instead mm -hmm. of the bales coming across, so your pack is tighter as well. Gotcha. Yeah, it kind of gets annoying. She'll say, well, I got bales hanging up, and she'll gonna have to clean it out. I have to get out and clean my bird box. Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but, huh. I don't really have too much... Um, knowledge about these i really only have knowledge on our newer, newer ones, ones. Yeah. but yeah. they're also much um they're shorter as well they're shorter by about five feet really um, oh, what about shorter, height wise? shorter yeah uh height wise they're steeper, steeper. so it's shorter and steeper yet yeah. so you have uh the bales come down quicker and they also don't hang up near as bad and i'm not sure if you guys have one on this but the new ones have a roller at the top as well really to go ahead and get you more speed coming down as well gotcha wow. yeah 
maybe once or twice. May have hit it one time, one way, and one the other. Disc it, joke cultivate it, and then just kind of go from there. See how see how it works down, but just breaking that compaction layer more than anything. Okay. So. Now, will you guys drill, or how do you do mm -hmm. it? Okay. Yep, I drill it. I talked to. I've used a brilliant cedar before, but I didn't, I don't know if it was just the year I had, I did not get along good with it at all. For real? So, I just do it in, with like a regular drill mess. Okay. On um, like nine inch spacing, I guess it'd be, right? I Probably think so. Seven or nine. Talk to one customer and he has the co-op come in and float it off. Uh, I got you. I had never heard about that before. Mm -hmm. They float it on and he comes back through with the color factor. Which yep. Uh, there was a farmer up here that owned about 6,500 acres and I wanted to farm, I needed an FFA project, so that's when uh, we came in and we're like, well, we've already done hay once, let's just do it again. Mm -hmm. And so that's, I figured when I was in high school and had all the equipment and everything, it's like, well, it's kind of silly to get out now. So, you know, you just, it takes so much though to have everything going. So, mm -hmm. so that's kind of where we started. I graduated in 09 and just been doing it ever since. So. Okay. So your FFA project was mm -hmm. to go ahead and yep. make hay. Yep. That was my SAE. So. Okay. So you've been doing it 15 years? Yep. Right around there, yep. 14, 15, something like that. I think it started in 08. So 07 or 08. So. And then um, the. Uh, but yeah, it's just it's just the investment. Like, right? pipe to it in there. You see? Mm -hmm. And then, so then pipes go through. Not like that with U bolts on the bottom and nose C channel. And then for my hoses, I just got two idler pulleys up there. Okay. And then, um, and this is the time. So, I don't know. I've, I've had mine now, what, two years? And, or John Deere, and we ain't had no death problems out of it at all. Really? Yep. So. Don't get hey, hey, so it has been a day. Josh from Coons has been here quite a while. Then we had rain. It wasn't rain. It was like a misty, um, not much fun dew point. So we've been waiting for that to kind of burn off and the sun to come out. And we finally got the windows. So we got the baler ready. I'm going to um, hustle and rail this through. Jason's got it all nicely wind road. And we're ready to rock and roll. So the hay's not quite um, dry enough at home. Um, so we're going to come over here and see if it's dry enough over here. It's kind of a 50 50. Just kind of see. Um, there's hay down here. There's hay in the bottom. Just see what it does. And I'm cutting through, um, going around the cattle pen, cattle pastures, paddocks, fences. So we'll check the cows out on our way by. They're up being nosy seeing what we're doing. We've had a busy day. Um, Josh was here from Coon, so that was real fun, showing him all about our our stuff and how ours kind of works for us. Uh, we have one of the original um, models. He actually uh, had never seen one before, as old as ours. So even though ours is only a 2014 model, it's kind of outdated. But it works for us and it's paid off, so I did joke that if they would send me one, I would use it and I would demo it. And then there's the ladies. It's all chilling out. They look a lot better since we uh, gave them that treatment for that pink eye a couple weeks ago. The calves have really came out of it. Kind of wait to see what the boss man says. We may have to wait just a little bit. No, he's saying it's not going to go. So I'm just going to have to really push and work hard to 